And welcome back. This is episode 314 of Geeking Out, and this time we are reviewing Ash vs. the Army of Darkness number one. So, let's get into it, shall we? with art by Mauro Vargas. Ash goes undercover as a substitute teacher to find out who's messing with the Necronomicon, and the only thing harder than ridding the world of an evil undead scourge is figuring out just who the cool kids are. So that's what happens in Ash vs. the Evil Dead number one. Now let's get into the good and the bad. All right, so this is a really fun, energetic, uh, and has really kinetic art uh, by Mauro Vargas, and I really like his style. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to see this one, it's really worth it just for that. His, uh, I'd say it's a little bit of an en enigmatic art style, and it really works well here. Uh, the, it has a really good story placing Ash in unfamiliar territory as a teacher, and it's just actually a lot of fun. Uh, but unfortunately, in the bad department, there's no real development for the new characters or explanation of plot elements unless you actually read the number zero issue. But uh, thankfully, the number zero issue is only 99 cents and easily enough to come by. So. Honestly, there's really no rush into the series, but it is a fun little Army of Darkness series, and it actually feels kind of like a proper continuation, but the weirdness of seeing Ash as a teacher is still a little jarring to me. But still, overall, Ash vs. the Army of Darkness is a lot of fun and well worth a read, much more so than Evil Dead 2 or Revenge of the Martians was. So if you're a fan of Evil Dead, you will want to check this out. For next week, however, we have a fight between two giant mechs as Mech Cadet U faces off with the classic 80s anime series Return to Comics, Robotech. Be sure to vote for what you'd like to see reviewed next Wednesday first. And we will see you next Wednesday and Friday. Be sure to vote for what you'd like to see reviewed first next week, Robotech or Mech Cadet U.